look like the same player he was before he got hurt? Is he still working his way through that? Um, he's still working his way through it. I feel like you know he's there, but you know he's just got to get his mind right because you know, anybody come off an injury, they're gonna be you know scared to hurt it, scared to do certain things. But you know he's dunking now. He's he's dunking on a few people almost. And, you know we just can't we can't wait till he gets back to the normal him because some of these freshman guys don't really understand the things he did. Uh, last year and the years before, so you know we just can't wait. How important is he to what you all can do? He's very important because there's not many people that can do the things he can do on the court, like certain tip dunks he may get, blocks that we need, rebounds, and just you know certain things he can do because he's such a special athlete. You guys have three or four real solid point guards on this team. How do you all complement each other's games? Um, we're all different. You know, we all score different ways, pass differently, and we all you know play the game. <laughs> Completely different ways, so we all love each other, playing with each other, and we just, you know, kind of try to click on the court. What did you think when you heard Kyle was bringing in two five-star point guards? Well, um, I already I knew Zay, so you know, I, I wanted him to come to me. And, you know, when we heard Jamal, the rumors about Jamal and AD coming, we was hoping he was coming too because we needed more players. And uh, he lit him up in night hoop summer, so I figured he was pretty pretty good. So, you know, we just you know, I wanted him to come. You know, I wasn't looking like. If they come, I'm not going to play. So, yeah, I feel like we're just going to be all good together. You have more fun when there's three guards on the floor or two guards on the floor? I think we'll have more fun with three on the floor because, you know, I feel like eventually Cal will let us go a little bit, let us make our own decisions, and it'll be a lot of fun. You said he likes north-south instead of east-west. Uh, what does that mean to you? Um, north-south, basically not too much dribbling. You know, Isaiah came in as a glassy guy from from you know Jersey, where he wants to play a little playground ball, but you know Cal wants him to go a little north south instead of you know doing all that, and he's looking very good doing that. Cal also said that you're the best player on the team, but you're not the best NBA prospect. What does that mean? Um, basically, that means that you know he thinks I'm the best player on the team, but you know even I know I'm not the best NBA prospect because I'm five foot tall, you know, scout seven feet. Come on, he's potentially no more picks, so, you know, I understand that, but at the end of the day, I know how to play, and, you know, I'm just going to go out there and show what I can do. He said, I mean, you're not going to get taller, so with the draft, at some point, you're going to be what you're going to be, and he'll, he may advise you to go if he doesn't think you can significantly improve your stock. Has he had those conversations with you already? Um, yeah, you know, he had that conversation when I first got here, uh, telling me if I'm a four-year player, if I think that, then I don't need to come, but, you know, I'll just... Trying to focus on this year, you know, try to play within our team, just try to lead us to a championship, not really think too much into that. There's been a lot of talk the last couple of years coming into the season from fans, media, outside the program, about 40 0 in the preseason. Not hearing it so much this year. Um, do you guys take that as less pressure, more comfortable, and not even think about it really outside the locker room? Um, we haven't really thought about that at all. Cal talked about how in sync you guys are. Um, can you really finish his sentences? <laughs> I mean, a little bit, not not really, but you know, sometimes I can. Can you finish the? You people are blank. You people are what? You people are blank. Crazy. There you go. <laughs> yeah. Be your brothers. Keeper. I'm sure you could think of more. <laughs> I like my <clears throat> team. Team. Yeah. <laughs> three for three. It's a drinking game for us. Right? Yeah. <laughs> Everything's a drinking game. <laughs> What have you seen out of these young guys, the new guys, now that you're one of the older fellas a little bit? What have you seen out of these young guys? Um, they're, they're all going to be special players. You know, Isaiah's a different player. Jamal's a different player. And Scout, you know, he's really skilled for his position. And, you know, he's going to be really good for us once he gets by and points. What Cal wants him to do, we're going to be really good. What's different for you this second time around compared to this time last year? Um, it's completely different. You know, we don't have the guys we had last year. I can't just, you know, be following myself to Carl. If I'm not comfortable doing something, I can just give him the ball and run away from it. But, you know, this year I have to lead the team a lot more and just, you know, try to do it more on the court, more off the court, and just, you know, try to be a leader. Can you compare this team to last year's team in terms of shooting? Is this year's better that you've seen so far? I mean, obviously we have a long way to go, but um, how good of a shooting team do we have here? I don't know yet. Um, we probably won't be as good as shooters as we were last year because we had Devin, of course, Aaron, and me. Andrew can shoot three as well, and but this year we have a couple guys who can shoot, a couple guys who can't shoot, but uh, we'll be pretty good. Who can't but tries? I'm not gonna say. <laughs> <laughs> You're not gonna mention Marcus's name. <laughs> no, that is not even who I'm thinking of. <laughs> you feel like this is quote unquote your team now? 
Um, yeah, I would say so. Me, Marcus, and Alex. Mm -hmm. But as a point guard, does that mean a little more? Yeah, as a point guard, I have to lead more on the court. You know, just try to make sure everybody's doing what they're supposed to do and always in their spot they're supposed to be. Cal Perry's also said he wants you to lead off the court. Are you comfortable in that role? Um, yeah, I'm comfortable. You know, I can't be you know hanging out with one person. I have to hang out more with the team, which I've been doing. You know got to know a lot of these guys a lot more and we're just having fun as a team. I'm sure you've already been told what he's been saying about you today, right? Yeah, I yeah. have. <laughs> and your reaction to that being called the best player? Um, you know, it's, it's a great thing to hear from my coach, you know, that he has that much confidence in me. And, you know, I'll thank him for that. <laughs> Do you have to carry it in practice though now? Um, I, I mean, it's not putting pressure on me. I just, you know, going to come out and do what I've been doing and just try to play um, and just keep doing what I'm doing. He also said that you might be the best floor general he's ever had. Yeah, that's a great you know, compliment considering who's coach, Derrick Rose, John Wall, guys like that. So uh, get to your head a little bit, like you take a moment and say, wow, because of all the guys you just mentioned? No, nah, not really. You know, I just try to keep playing, try to keep working on my game, you know, and try to focus on the season. Are you surprised how much he's pushing you for the NBA? No. He told me that when I first got here. He's, uh, he didn't want me here for a year. If I thought that, then don't come. But he's pushing you now for next year. Hey, you know, he's trying to make my dreams come true. But, you know, he's just, you know, trying to help me. You, you mentioned not being able to throw it to Carl. You can't throw it to Willie. You can't throw it to a lot of big guys. What about the difference now with this team? You don't have that back line that can help you clean up on defense, too. Um, I, I wouldn't say we don't have that back line because, you know, those guys are really good. You know, Marcus, Scal, even Isaac are really good down there. And, you know, it's just going to be different how we get them the ball in certain areas. Uh, with Isaac, it won't be lobs. It'll be like over the head passes, and he's just gonna finish him the way he does things. But no, we're still gonna have a lot of great bigs. You know what the big dude nation's like now. You've been here a year, uh, and you know they're going to expect maybe not 38 and 0, but they're going to expect virtually the same thing this year, right? Are you comfortable with that? Um, yeah, because I don't expect to lose either. So you know, I just want to come out and win. Uh, they want us to win, and we want to win as well. So if we lose, we'll be just as mad as them. <laughs> What, is, uh, what do you, what do you think, John? Uh, like Dick said, it's the last two years. You weren't here two years ago, but last year was all the talk about 40 and 0. Is it freeing at all not to have that hanging in the air? Uh, no, not really, because you know we don't really think about that. We haven't really even, that hasn't crossed our mind at all. We're just trying to you know, focus on what we're doing now, trying to get better as a team. Uh, we got a long way to go, so we're just you know getting ready for the season. Everybody's excited. How plausible is winning every game this season in your mind? Uh, it would be great to do it, but you know that would be tough. Last year we didn't even do it with the team we had, but you know, of course we want to win every game, so we're going to try to. What is Cal's positionless? He keeps talking about positionless basketball. 